Shell money. Shell money. Shell money. Shell money. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna stop saying shell money. This is, uh, I think it's pronounced crowl, crowry, crowry shell, crowry. I'm really having trouble saying that. Crowry, crow, crowry shell. I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually just cheat for a second. Say it. Cowry. Cowry. All right. For some reason, I can't say this word, but this—that's what it is. It's a shell. And it's a shell that used to be used as a currency. Been binge watching a history channel on YouTube recently called The Fall of Civilization Podcast. One of the things they mentioned that I found very interesting was the concept of shell money. At one point, shell money was used all over the world as a medium of exchange. And it worked because the shells were relatively rare and they were small so they could carry it around easily. And they were also used in jewelry, so I think they would, you know, have perceived value if, 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 you know, they were used in that context. I guess basically just enough people bought into the idea that, you know, these are and should be worth something. So they were worth something. It really was just as simple as that. I love the idea that, at least in theory, you could make a money farm. <laughs> you know, you could farm these and make a money farm. I wonder if anyone actually did that. That's pretty, that's pretty cool. I was doing a little bit of research for this after buying some, because after I heard about these, I was like, oh, I've got to get some. <laughs> I'm, I'm curious. I'm cu I want to just own some, uh, some of this ancient currency, just to kind of, just in case, you know, you never know. So in doing some research for this, I found that some shells, because not all civilization used this one specific shell, although I think this was a common one. Some shells, the value of the shell was determined by the length of them. So if you had a longer shell, that would be the equivalent of having like a hundred dollar bill or something like that, which I thought was really, really fascinating. The other thing I thought was interesting was that in some parts of the world, the shells are just harder to get naturally. You know, perhaps you're not by the sea or something like that. It's just, they're just kind of inherently harder to get. So the value of, of, of this currency would kind of fluctuate depending on the region. So people would take advantage of that once they found that out and would ship in, you know, these shells from an, an area where they're relatively easy to get to an area where they're almost impossible to get. And according to Wikipedia, they apparently made up to 500% gains in value doing this, which is pretty sweet. The other thing I thought was interesting when I was doing research for this was the Chinese symbol for money is actually based on this shell. They're also used as dice. This is, this is how. So you take Say you want to roll a six-sided dice, you take six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then you just, you just roll them. And you count the ones either up this way or down that way. So I don't know which way it is. I guess it's probably up this way. So I roll a four, let's say. I rolled a three. Roll of three. So, quite interesting. I wanted to look up the exchange rate. I thought it'd be quite interesting to try and figure out what <laughs> the exchange rate would be, but it's quite hard to figure out. And, uh, you know, it's hard to even pinpoint a region and it, it's really hard to get anything at all out of it. If you like this video, consider subscribing. Each week we post two new videos where we buy random things from the internet, mess around with it, and then make a video about it. See you in the next video. Please don't forget to subscribe and like this video. This video was brought to you by DeadeyeClub.com, makers of the Wishbone EDC Slingshot. Head over there now and consider picking up their $100 mischief kit, which includes everything you'd need to start shooting a slingshot. The wishbone itself, three replacement band sets, and some ammo. It's the most fun you can have for 100 bucks, and you'll be supporting the channel.